This is a quick training video on how to create a menu on the left hand side of a page. Currently I'm logged into the um, chemistry site and we want to create a menu for this page and it's going to be displayed right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into the back end of my website and I'm going to begin creating this menu. Currently we already have all the articles in place for this so this should be quick and easy. So we're going to go to Menu Manager and we're going to click on the new icon and we're going to give this a name. I'm going to call this one Balloon Menu and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this right down the whole side. Now it's very important um, that the unique name, the title, and the module match, that really helps us keep everything straight and organized. Um, we always want the module to actually match up with the menu name, so that's very helpful for us. And we're going to click on Save. So now I'm going to scroll down to my very new menu item, and I'm going to click on the Edit Menu Items icon. And I'm going to click on New because we're going to add a new page. Okay, so under the type we're going to select our article. And a single article is an article layout. So we're going to select this. And we're going to go up here to where it says Select Article and Browse. Let's see, I know he's under Faculty and Staff and Faculty. So I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to pause this for just a moment while I answer the phone. Okay, sorry about that. Before the phone rang, I was scrolling down to find the articles, which I thought were under faculty and staff and faculty. Ah, my articles are not here. Okay, well, let's close this. I'm going to go over to my article manager and I'm looking for my links. The first thing I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to publish all these so I will be able to see them in order to add them to a menu. So I'm making all of these published. Well, except for this one, because my user is in it, so it's locked. And I'm assuming this one's probably going to need to be unpublished. Well, no, we'll just remember this one was created by me versus night and whenever we decide to do our menu link. So anyways, I'm going through making all these published. Okay, now we're going to go back to our menu and we're going to click on the menu manager and I'm going to click on the new icon and we're going to begin adding items to this menu. The first item we're going to add Yay, here we go. <laughs> okay, it's going to be the very top menu item. And, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you one bit of information. This is just a little trick. I like to highlight and copy these as I go along. That way I don't have to retype them right here. Although sometimes you do get some strange space in there. And I'm going to click on Save. So here is my top menu item and I'm just going to keep on going with these. I'm going to click on New, Article, and since this is a single article it's going to be Article Layout. And I'm going to select an article and I imagine the second one we want on there would be the Welcome. And in this case I'm just going to copy the word Welcome put that as the title. 
And on this, I want, I want these items to show up underneath the name, so I'm going to select this as a parent item. And I'm going to click on Save. And I'm just going to keep going down my list. Let me see what my list is. So maybe next we do um, teaching. And we can always reorder these. So I'm going to click on New and then Articles, Article Layout. And I'm going to select my article. And as you see, our other welcome page is now underneath this one. So I'm going to make this one the parent item, and this is also just going to place our teaching page underneath the welcome. And I'm going to click on Save. And let's see, what do we want next? Maybe um, and we'll do publications next. So. I click on articles, article layout, publications, haha. -ha. Yeah, I'm very lazy at typing. And I'm going to add it beneath his name and I'm going to click on save. Now, if I decided I wanted to change the order of these, I could easily just click on my little arrow to move them up or down, or you can actually change the number and click on Save. Um, the reason there's two ones, this is one, and this is the beginning of another tree, so it's one, two, and three underneath that. Okay, so that is the um, basic steps of creating a menu, although we're not done yet. We have this menu created, but we need to enable it and we need to publish it and we need to um, add in our items like the header which is this and what we're going to do is we're going to go to extensions and module manager and I'm going to find my menu okay we don't want to show the title we do want it enabled. We want it enabled on the sidebar. And we want to control where this is shown. Again, this is very important right here. This is where you go in and select what pages this menu will be shown on. So we're going to scroll to the bottom and we want it shown only on Dr. Valu's pages. Um, we will have to go through and reselect these as we add to his menu. If we add new menu, menu items, we have to go in here and tell his menu to include those menu items as well because otherwise you'll have um, the volume menu showing up on the left side of only these pages and not anything else that we may add at a later date. So I'm going to click on save and I'm going to go and see if I can find our header let's see header image inside pages um that does not look like the one that was on the faculty pages hmm okay I'm gonna try again sometimes if I don't know what they're named I just click on banner and that'll at least narrow it down. Oh, faculty banner. There you go. So anyways, um, I'm going to also click on the menu assignments down here and I'm going to assign this to all of his pages. And again, as we add new pages and new menu items to this menu or to his menu, we'll want to go in here and also enable the header on those pages. So I'm going to click on Save. And the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my article menu, or article manager, sorry, um, and I'm going to find my faculty and staff page. And I'm going to click on that.
and I'm going to go down here and locate his name and click on the edit icon for the hyperlink and I'm going to go to content or I'm sorry we're gonna to go to menu and we're gonna actually link to his menu and I'm gonna to link to the very first item on it and I'm gonna click on update and save okay let's go preview this so we're going to faculty and staff here is our whoops hmm and I seem to have double titles here we'll fix that in just a second but I want to make sure that everything's displaying as it should huh okay so we have the title showing up and then what looks like another title within it let's go check this out Let's see, what was one of them that had the two titles? Valu Teaching. Let's see. Yep, uh, the reason we have that duplicate is because we have a Valu Teaching up here, and then we have the Valu Teaching down here. I always recommend keeping the title in the title position and not duplicating it down here, so I click on save and we're going to go preview this again. Ah, much better. Okay, so that's how it's done. Um, I will let you continue to add all the rest of the items and link those up. Uh, at the end of it, you will not need to go back and change the hyperlink on the faculty and staff pages. So just uh, make sure you enable them in the module manager after you create the menu items and enable the header, I mean the header banner and you should be done. Thank you. Call me if you have any questions.